What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're back at it once again in American Truck Simulator and uh, we're going to be making another trip in Wyoming today in one of my absolute all-time favorite trucks in my fleet, the uh, Schneider Cab Over FLB. This truck is absolutely amazing. I love this truck. Love how it looks, love how it sounds, love everything about it. Also, quick message uh, for those that are new to the channel. If you enjoy the content and uh, you haven't subscribed, please consider doing that. It's always uh, free of charge, doesn't cost you a dime. Uh, be sure to hit that like button and uh, leave a comment. All that stuff absolutely helps the channel, uh, helps us move forward, helps it grow, which in turn uh, will allow me to do more things, uh, hopefully in the future. So uh, definitely consider that. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and uh, we'll see about hopping in the truck. We'll get that going. And I did get track IR back working. It was just a, uh, a little adjustment problem. So I think we're good to go on that. Let's lower the seat down just a tad. Let's see. All right, right there, that should be good. All right, I think we're good with that. Uh, let's look at our route. Now, we're going to Riverton today. We've been to Riverton before, but when you go to Riverton from Jackson, it always takes you on a southern route here, like on 189, uh, 191, and that way. Uh, today, I forced the sim to take us uh, the northerly route here on like uh, 26 and 287. Riverton. So it'll be a route that uh, we have yet to see. So we've just about got every single uh, road filled in on the map, minus this one up here, which is really off the beaten path, and uh, this one down to Laramie. So hopefully we can get those filled in at some point as well. All right, now I think we're set and ready to go. Let's hop in, put in the clutch. This is done with uh, track IR, uh, a Logitech G29 wheel and shifter. And uh, I absolutely love it. It's great. All right, let's get, uh, there you go. Got the parking brake off. Now we can go. Now we're set. She's a little finicky on the clutch. That is for sure. I probably should have started off in first with this truck. But uh, we did second anyway. There we go. It is seven in the morning. We advanced the time. I picked this load up at like five in the afternoon or five in the evening and uh, we advanced it to uh, 7 a.m. so you guys could see the uh, scenery enjoy because like I said it's a new area it's an area I haven't been through yet so I'm looking forward to that uh, one other quick message I've been wanting to mention for a while and I keep forgetting uh, I've noticed uh, here lately or it's been for a while now that uh, every once in a while I'll get comments left and uh, I'll get the notification for the comment and I'll be able to read it via the notification, but if I click it to reply or just to go to the comment, like it's gone, like it's completely disappeared. I don't know if, uh, if it's like YouTube is deleting the comment for some reason. Maybe the person, maybe they just decided to delete the comment on their own and that's fine, you know. Uh, it hasn't been anything bad. Like, I had a really good one the other day that was a really nice, good comment, and uh, it, it was gone for whatever reason. And so, if YouTube is deleting these comments because of their stupid algorithm that sees something in it that it doesn't like and it decides to delete it, I just want to let people know that uh, I do appreciate all the comments. Uh, you know, I am aware of that. I made some changes to the channel to hopefully fix that. Uh, maybe it was something on my end that was causing that, but I do see your comments, and I do, uh, I do appreciate all of them, uh, absolutely. So uh, I just wanted to throw that out there real fast, as far as like what's going on with that, because I've seen, like I said, two or three like really good comments that I've liked uh, have just vanished. So you know, maybe it's YouTube. Maybe the person didn't like what they posted. That's fine. Like I said, that's fine. If you uh, if you post it and you're like, ah, you know, I better delete that. That's absolutely fine. I totally get it. 
I just want to make sure that YouTube is not like uh, messing with the comments and, and causing problems and stuff like that. Because you never know. It could very well be. There are lights on there. All right, sweet. Yeah, I like this truck a lot, but she is uh, she is one of those trucks that's a little finicky. Finicky on the clutch, especially starting out. Once you get her going, she's uh, she's okay. She has a 13 speed, and she does have 460 horsepower in it. Say uh, in 14, 460 horses of in 14 goodness, whatever you want to call it. It sounds really good though. I like it. There's a truck once again. Another little view of it. Love the Schneider cab overs. Man, I miss those trucks. That was one of those trucking companies that like, dude, what are you doing? I've got the light, not you. Schneider was one of those trucking companies where like you could not mistake. I talk to them. I talk about them like they're no longer around. They're still around. But they're one of those trucking companies, like, there's no mistaking who it is. Like, you could see one of their trucks from a mile away, and you would know, hey, that's a Schneider truck. There's no, there's no doubt. So, it's a very uh, recognizable brand. I've always really liked them, especially in the cab over days. I thought the cab overs were awesome. They said, this is an FLB. I found one video of a real life Schneider FLB. And that's the only video picture, anything from an FLB that I found, which I thought was like really, uh, really cool. They're kind of rare. I think for the, like the bulk of their cab over fleet was the uh, internationals, what the 9600s or the 9800s or whatever they were. There we go. I'm hoping we can catch it. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. My bad. <laughs> never mind. Uh, yeah. So the bulk of their fleet was like the international trucks. The uh, I don't, I don't know. They were 96 or 9800s. Not sure on that. I'm not an expert on it, but they look really good. There was a bunch of those internationals in fleet service back in the day with like JB Hunt and uh, Schneider. They both uh, use those trucks a lot. to get over, hop over into our lane here. All right, I'm going to shut up now and let you guys enjoy this engine for a bit. She's a little heavy. I can tell she's got a little bit of weight to her on that stop. One of those things that it'll, it'll kind of surprise you sometimes if you don't get to test your brake up, you know, your brakes out really good when you're leaving out of the terminal and then all of a sudden you have to hit them. You're like, whoa, I've got it, like, it has a lot more weight than what, what I thought.
I think we're finally getting out of town now. It took a little bit. We had like a bazillion different lights to go through there. Uh, if we get out of this 25, we'd be set. There we go. Beautiful scenery, right? For you that, uh, for those of you that have Wyoming, let me know what you think about it. Uh, what are your impressions? I like it. I like it a lot. I, you know, my very first trip, uh, it was nice, but I wasn't, uh, I wasn't wowed by it. And then uh, once I started getting off the beaten path and like up into the northern and northwestern part of the state, then uh, that's when I started being wowed. It's still, it's good. Even the southern part is good. Don't get me wrong. I think it accurately, uh, oh, sh we got a uh, roundabout here. Why they put a roundabout in the middle of nowhere like this? What is up with that? I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay. These people, they, people lose their mind in roundabouts, especially in the United States. This, the ones, all the ones that I've been through, like real life, I'm talking about real life, like they're, uh, they're a disaster. <laughs> now we're cooking. Look at that. Look at those mountains. Isn't that beautiful? Another viewpoint. Nice. Let's see about grabbing a screenshot real quick. There we go. All right, got a screenshot. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, look at the buffalo. Cool. I, I think I've seen a few before. I don't know if I've seen them out in the wild like that. Come on, get in. <laughs> get in there. There we go. Now we're set. Man, she seems like she just doesn't like skipping these gears like that. Like, she's going to make me go back down to uh, six high. Gorgeous scenery, right? It looks amazing. hammer a little bit here you're wound up good this truck isn't governed I, I remember back in the day Schneider trucks were governed and I want to say they were governed like really slow too on the interstate you get behind a Schneider truck they were all the time poking along the old cab overs maybe they were governed at like 60 or 65 something like that maybe uh, someone that knows can chime in and and say what they were, but they were considerably slower than traffic. I do remember that. Little Jake action going there. Man, it's beautiful through here. This is like northwestern Wyoming is where it's at. No doubt, man.
what we got here? Oh, nice. It turns dirt road like they tore all the asphalt up. I can't say I've ever seen a road that was like completely tore up that they just let you drive on, but it's pretty cool. Definitely different. Looks like they're doing all kind of work. They didn't tore the road up. They're doing uh, some kind of pipe. Looks like maybe drainage pipe. This guy passing us. <laughs> what the heck? Ah, oh, it's a cop. Never mind. Watch our speed here. There we go. Now we're out of it. Nice. All right. Yeah, that was uh, that was jostling my wheel like crazy. this truck today I don't know what my deal is I can't float it and like she is not happy with that at all like I'm having to go into uh, high This road seems a little bit much for me for 70 mile an hour. Like I said in a previous video, uh, once you start getting so fast on some of these roads, it starts feeling kind of arcadey to me and not very realistic. So I try, I try to rein it back in a little bit on some of these side roads. really I don't think this is a route that the GPS will ever select for you I think it, it, it just automatically defaults to that southern route between uh, Jackson and Riverton so I'm gonna say if you want to check this route out you probably just gonna to have to force it up there yourself it's probably not ever going to do it on its own unless there's an industry or something up here you could load out at which there could very well be I don't, I don't know. I've never loaded up here before. I've never been up here before, but uh, otherwise you're gonna have to make it yourself.
That's uh, that looks like a through road or so. Oh, okay, I see it is. It's a uh, it's a rest area. I was gonna say it's one of those hidden roads. Damn, they got a lot of uh, highway patrol here in Wyoming in game. Every time you turn around. We're almost there. We'll be in uh, Riverton shortly. Must be a heavy load because she's driving. She's driving like like it's really heavy. I don't ever have to start splitting gears hardly until like seven or eight, usually eight. But this one I'm having to split. All right, we're here, sweet. We made it, we made it one piece. Good driving truck. If you haven't got the FLB off the Steam Workshop, definitely get this truck. All this stuff for this particular truck, I got off the Steam Workshop. Whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa. There we go. All right, that spooked me for a second. Uh, like I said, all this stuff came off the Steam Workshop, the truck, the livery, and uh, the sound. I couldn't tell you what uh, engine pack this is from, but uh, it's one of the N14. It's not Z Mods. I can tell you that. It's not his. I like his a lot, uh, but it's not that one. Different one. I read some interesting discussion the other day uh, from real life truck drivers that some trucking companies do not allow their uh, drivers to turn right on red. I did not know that. I did not know that. From the big, uh, the bigger fleet companies, he said. He didn't say specifically who, but uh, he said some of the companies wouldn't let them. Trucks over here. Be like a uh, industrial area. We're hauling dog food. I think I think it's dog food. Pelletized animal food or something like that. That's what it said.
we can get our flashers going here. See about backing this in. Well, it's actually going to be a little bit more of a pain than what I thought it would be. I'm thinking how we can do this. I may have messed up. may have messed up. We'll see. I get up here as close as I can so I can swing this cat back around and get under it. There we go. That's at least a little bit better. It's not great, but now I just can't hit that pole there. That sucks. Got back in the truck here. Bumping my mic. Sorry, guys. You're hearing a bunch of bumping and banging around. All right, we may just about have it here. Kind of go back in an angle and then kick her around. There we go. Wait, that worked out. That worked out better than I thought it would. All right at our uh, parking brake here. Hop out real quick. Yeah, that's not bad. Actually, I'm really proud of that. That's like one of my better backing jobs. Damn it. It's a good thing I did that and have it on video. That's like rare. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave a comment. Uh, love all you guys. Thank you so much for all the support and everything is really appreciated and you all are amazing and with that said we'll catch you on the road in ats next time peace